Over the past 18 months, there's been a complex rehabilitation and expansion project of the National Theatre in Lagos, southwest of the country. The project is estimated to cost $100 million for the complex's renovation, expansion, and construction of other facilities. The remodeled National Monument and Edifice, set for completion by the first quarter of next year, will serve as hubs for fashion, film, music, and information technologies. New Center's Neo Money completes the story. The Nigerian National Art Theatre will. This historic building was formally opened by the then head of state, General Olusegun Obasanjo, in 1976, months before Festac 77. Graced by artists like Steve Wonder and Mighty Sparrow, amongst others, the multipurpose national complex hosted about 16,000 participants for the month-long festival which celebrated African culture and showcased its music, fine art and literature to the world, not forgetting drama, dance and religion, making it the largest pan-African gathering. Since then, the National Arts Theatre has been the host place for several national and international activities including musical concerts, dramas, dances, film shows, symposia, exhibitions, workshops, and even sports. The curtains, however, closed on riazas like these at one of the country's prime stages as it became a shadow of its former self. All over the world, theatres are surrounded by shopping malls, hotels, and other complex, not surrounded by shanties, pigs around the National Theatre. Intervention by the Central Bank of Nigeria and the diverse set of stakeholders seeks to change the narrative as renovation and expansion are ongoing. This project is costing the bankers' committee, by, by our last estimate, about $100 million. A lot of um, work on the, the environment is going on, dredging, reclamation, making sure that the water islands and everything are all put in place. The greatest beneficiary of this project, apart from the generality of Nigerians, are the youth who will benefit from the virtual spaces, uh, the clusters that will come, creative, entertainment, etc. That's important. The first phase of rehabilitation has been completed as it recently hosted the United Nations World Tourism Organization and the Federal Government of Nigeria Conference. 24 hectares that have been devoted to come out of the four verticals. These are creative hubs in music, in fashion, in IT and film that will be used to train, retrain and also to create, to facilitate the creative processes. We also have a, a rail line that runs across. So it's going to aid human traffic movement here and out of this place. By the time President is about buying out by May next year, he would come again and now re and recommission not just the National Arts Theatre, but the entire, the entire um, edifice. Upon completion of the second phase, a 5,000-seater main amphitheatre comparable to anything else in the world will seat at its heart, flanked by two world-class cinema rooms, banquet halls, a museum and a library. The military hat-shaped monument will be one of the best masterpieces of Nigeria and a major Lagos attraction with a warm welcome at the entrance to all from Queen Amina. Ni Omani, New Central Lagos.